Hey, science fans. Hey, I'm Ryan from the Saskatchewan Science Center, and thank you so much for joining me today for Science at Home, where we show you really cool science demonstrations and STEM activities that you can do from the comfort of your own home. Today, we're gonna build a useless machine. And to do that, we're gonna use this kit from the Adam and Geek Science Shop. Everything that you need to build this project is included in this box, including tools. The only thing that you need to add is two AA batteries. Are you ready? Let's get started. All right, so this is the kit that we sell at the Adam and Geek Science Shop. And as we open it up, you'll see a few things inside of it. First one is this electronics kit. So inside of this is the actual electronic um, components for the kit as well as the mechanism and the attached battery holder. Set that off to the side. There is also a set of instructions that we're gonna follow along with. And all of the tools and hardware that you're gonna need to build this kit. And finally, the sides and the actual parts of the kit are located here as well. These are made out of a black plastic material and they're covered with a paper. You can leave that paper on if you want or you can remove it and have an all gloss black useless machine. The first piece that you're gonna need to find is this piece right here. It's the bottom and you can identify it because it's got these two holes which are for mounting the motor bracket. The motor bracket is this tiny little piece right here with the slot in it. And when we mount it, we're gonna put that slot towards the center of the board, just like that. In order to mount it, you can use the included hardware, little nuts and bolts, and the screwdriver that's included to tighten it. Now, all of the other nuts and bolts will stay in place because of the design of the box. But if you have a pair of pliers to hold the nuts on these ones, that can be helpful. There you go, our first part's done. Now, I mentioned that you didn't need to worry about pliers for the other ones because the design of the box will hold it in place. So let's look at how that happens. You can see that everywhere that a bolt and a nut go together, there is this style of cutout in the material. What you need to do is place a finger underneath that hole and then drop the nut in the slot. The actual shape of the slot will keep the nut from turning when you go to put in the bolt. And as the bolt will slide through all of the pieces, it will make it very easy for you to tighten everything up. The other thing that you need to know about assembling this is that everything is cut with these interlocking shapes. So when I take the bottom and I go to put this side piece on, you'll see that they simply clip together like that. In fact, I can't put it on backwards because it simply will not fit. So with that, all we need to do is go ahead and put all of the pieces together.
All right, now that we've got those six pieces together, the four sides, the bottom, and the little motor mount bracket, it's actually time to put the electronics and the mechanism in. And I've got that right over here. Everything comes pre-assembled, pre-soldered, pre-wired, um, but it's always a good idea to put a couple of batteries in it and test it before you go and assemble it all. So I've got some rechargeable AA batteries here. I'm gonna drop them in. And then just by holding the circuit board, I'm gonna flip that switch. And that is what it does. In order to mount this, it's just important to note the orientation. The tab on the bottom of the circuit board goes into that slot on that little bracket. And we just simply line it up. It fits pretty loosely. And then we take the top piece right here, which has a hole that says on off on it. That hole actually slides over top of the switch. And then we simply line up the tabs on all of the other parts of the uh, box. All right, so I've assembled three sides of the box. One hinge side, the back, and the top. Note the top has the Science Center logo engraved in it. So that's how you know which side faces out and which side faces in. Then to align that, we simply slide this first circle over top of that tab and put it in place. And then we'll take the second hinge Put that in place, line it all up. And then, and then we'll install the nut and bolt to put this side together. There you go. The last thing to do is if you choose to install the battery bracket. Now you can just leave it laying in the bottom if that's what you want, but there is a hole on the side right here. It's a little bit hard to see right here. Um, and you can put a, a bolt and a nut through it with the nut on the inside of the battery tray. Let's put some batteries in it and let's see what happens. And the last part that we have to do is just to install this nut that goes over top of the switch to keep everything in place. Now, if you have a little pair of pliers or something, you can use it to tighten this nut, but we've also included this handy little wrench for you. So it's just a matter of getting the thread started and then tightening it down. So with that, I'm going to turn it on and let's see what a useless machine does. Kind of useless, but tons and tons of fun. Thanks so much for watching this video and I hope that you'll consider picking up a useless machine kit from the Adam and Geek Science Shop at the Saskatchewan Science Center. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe to the channel, and if you want to, hit that bell so that you know when we upload our next video. 
Thanks so much and have a great day.